it to 3.27 in the morning, July 4th. And I'm supposed to be at the market at 3.30. I'm running really behind. Um, but I had to eat. So I was starving this morning. Maybe got like three hours of sleep last night because kids, so I have to hustle. But hey, happy to July 4th. Good morning, we are here. I'm a little late, it's 3.45. I should be here at 3.30. Gotta get going. This is what the farmer's market setup looks like. So historically, we've always been a lot slower when there's a holiday or there's a festival or something going on on the main street over here. So today I'm just gonna set up our seven tents instead of the usual uh, tent. Okay, all right, so it's 4.30. Um, and I've gone about as far as I can go because Robbie is coming with the van and everything else is in the van. So I just gotta wait for him to show up and get here. So hopefully he'll be here soon. There he is, that white stallion. You are juicy. Rob, Robbie's a massage therapist, so on occasion, occasion he'll pop my back totally, and totally massage not, my shoulders. Yeah, totally not my scope of practice to pop backs. I only do that for friends. As, <laughs> as a non-licensed. Yes, he doesn't. He doesn't do it as as a profession. Gosh, Robbie, gosh, you're the worst. <laughs> what is that? That's probably illegal, right? Uh, yeah, if, like as a friend, I can crack your back. Yeah, but legally, as a yeah, you don't do that no. on the table no. for other people. Okay, so about this time, it's 5.30 and Robbie and I go pick up the vegetables. We have an off-site field cooler uh, refrigeration unit and that's where all the produce is. We go and try to get back before 6 a.m. because that's when the girls get there. So last night went to bed about 2 a.m. and been up since about 5.45 a.m. A little bit tired, but we're getting the kids to eat breakfast. After breakfast, I'm gonna hurry and get ready and get down there to the market. Hey everybody, it's August Ramaphorn. You are doing really good. So I was walking to the farmer's market, ran into this handsome fella. Me? I'm handsome? <laughs> Now, we get to go join the market and join all the fun. It's been a really nice day so far. You guys had a good setup so far? Yeah. Let's go check it out, y'all. Right right Woohoo! Hi, people. Food. Here we go. Food. So much food everywhere. Good morning, Astrid. Good morning. How are you? Hi. So, we're pretty slow today, so I'm gonna go ahead and take off to the house and try to finish some editing uh, on the vlogs that we've been doing. So, Kathy, I'm leaving. I'm picking your nose. For once. Once. Yeah, it's such a treat that I get to go home. It's such a treat. This is weird. I'm usually here like all day from 3:30 to. Usually we're all to, scrambling still, but you guys like are four. on it this morning. Yeah. We had an amazing morning so far. Love you. Love you. Too. Bye. Bye, baby. Yes, we got you. of lunch I hop in this white stallion and go to the market to start closing it down. Here we go. We're the 
first in line. I gotta wait. All right, so I just got back from putting the kid down for a nap and these guys have done a great job. They're already like, I would say mostly torn down. So we'll show you guys the- Fourth of July, baby, we're gonna get out of here. Ready to go, what, party in our backyard? Ready to go, edit some video. <laughs> I know. Let's go sit behind a computer for the next four hours. We literally have an amazing team. The best that there possibly could ever be. Can't even argue it. So that's your basic Saturday for the pharmacy. Yep. We're done. We're gonna go home and see our sweet kiddos now. It's probably my favorite part of the day is coming home and having them run at me at the door. <gasps> my face, he's so sleepy. Oh, yeah. A quiet welcome for today. Hi, I guess Lennon is catching up on all the sleep that he yeah. didn't give me last night. Huh? Not the welcome we were expecting. <laughs> I love how our kids are tired and they've done nothing but play their whole lives. <laughs> Lennon last yes, night yes, literally yes. was up. Well, he was up basically every hour. I don't know, sometime around 4 a.m. I woke up to literally a blood curling scream and he's sleeping right next to me. He's like, what is going on? You're not the only one that woke up. What? Oh, you got woken up too? <laughs> I wake up too. <gasps> and I'm like, what is going on? I don't know what it was. So, nightmare? Gas? Someone chasing him? I don't know. I think he might be getting teeth. I'm gonna check it out. Do you think they'll. Do you think. Do you do you think they'll sleep tonight during the fireworks? I don't know that they'll sleep ever again. Daddy, daddy. 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 What? Mommy! Yeah. What? Mommy! Yes. What? Mommy! What? Mommy! What? Mommy. what? Yeah. So the problem is, we're very exhausted. He's not. He's very well napped, aren't you buddy? So we're trying to figure out how to celebrate the 4th of July, though we are completely and utterly exhausted and we don't know if our kids are gonna sleep because of the sound of fireworks going off all night. What are you doing, Kathy? I'm watching. Um, I'm gonna make it dark in here so we can watch fireworks on the TV. We're just too tired tonight to stay up till like, what time is it gonna get dark? 10 o'clock? It's only supposed to be a, like, a way to do something like that. Uh, is there a search term for fancy fireworks? tapping out for this 4th of July. Maybe we'll do some real fireworks tomorrow. Ow. Oh, and we'll watch them. Outside on our backyard. That's a good idea. Okay, let's do that tomorrow, okay? Oh.